Washington State announced overnight that one more victim with coronavirus has died, a man in his 70s with underlying health problems. The first U.S. victim, a man in his 50s, also from Washington State. Officials believe he caught the virus through community contact. More than 70 people in the U.S. have now been diagnosed, including the first cases in New York and Rhode Island, both traveled to affected countries. The risk here in Rhode Island at this point is low and we have been preparing for this for weeks. Vice President Pence tells Meet the Press the CDC is helping local authorities figure out who else may have been exposed. For the average American, the risk does remain low. We're ready. The Trump administration says 150,000 test kits will be available in the next two weeks, but they're concerned about a shortage of face masks for healthcare workers who need them. People running out and buying face masks. That's not needed. That's not indicated. We don't recommend it. President Trump tweets that travelers from high risk countries will now also be screened when they arrive in the U.S. Democrats are pushing back on the president, calling fears about coronavirus a hoax. This idea first that it was a hoax or that it was minimal or that people shouldn't talk about it is all wrong. That's what happened in China. They tried to push it under the rug. The administration plans an update this afternoon. The government does have the authority to make these drug companies put what they're doing on the back burner and prioritize this vaccine. We'll see what happens when the president meets with them today. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.